Our team coverage continues now with Abajoy Burnett, just, who says just hours before the governor's announcement, Baltimore City said it also lifting some capacity limits. So, Abajoy, give us the details. What did the mayor say? Well, the mayor's office said they were watching the governor's announcement in real time, just like everybody else. So right now they're having to review what the governor said. So as of this point, everything still stands here in Baltimore City. Starting on Monday, they will be lifting some capacity limits, but there are exceptions. Places like convention centers will be capped at 50%. Come Monday, most businesses in Baltimore City will no longer have to worry about capacity limits, but places like social clubs and convention centers will still be capped at 50%. Baltimore City was the last jurisdiction in our area to make this move. Events like the AFRAM Festival and the 4th of July fireworks are still canceled. We all want to make sure that we get back to a point of where we're having uh, these big festivals and events. Uh, but that would be, uh, right now, would not be in the best interest of public health. Wednesday, the Maryland National Guard set up shop in South Baltimore. That's a lovely thing. Everybody should come out and get vaccinated. The mission, one shot at a time. They know what they're doing. In, out, boom. In anticipation of the CDC giving the green light for kids 12 to 15 to get the Pfizer shot, Howard County put out this tweet saying all 12 plus can walk up to the mass vac site at the mall in Columbia and get a shot. More than 2.4 million Marylanders are now fully vaccinated, but that leaves about 3.6 million people who are not covered. That's why doctors are counting on trusted voices like pastors to encourage others. Why should I be apprehensive about something I prayed for? I mean, we have to look at this. We prayed that God would eliminate this plague, and God answered our prayers with the answer of a vaccination. And with regard to that Pfizer vaccine now being recommended for kids 12 to 15, here in Baltimore City, the health department has been handing out Moderna and Johnson & Johnson shots. So what the health department is going to have to do is they're going to have to partner with places like pharmacies to get Pfizer shots for those kids. Live at City Hall. Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.